The windows of this house are in desperate need of maintenance. Lay out a paper dust sheet to make it easier for you to keep the area clean. For this job, you will need a wire brush, a large and small scraper, a stripping knife, a putty knife, a sealant gun, a knife, tape, a wide filling knife, a window scraper, a small round brush and two smaller brushes. First, check that the wood is not too damp. You can borrow a moisture meter from your paint dealer. It should indicate moisture of around 14%. The figure should not exceed 17%. Check your windows before you start to see if they need puttying or if it is enough to paint them. If the old putty has started to come loose, you must remove and replace it. Unscrew the head of the big scraper to make access easier. Use a small scraper to access smaller surfaces. Carefully scrape off flaky paint and putty. Brush the scraped surfaces with the wire brush. Ensure you don't scratch the window panes. Scrape off old paint stains using the window scraper. Moisten the window pane with water to reduce the risk of scratching the glass. Sand the window sashes using sandpaper. Paint the metal details first using rust-proof paint. Now, it is time to oil the scraped wood. Ensure that you also oil the front putty. Prime the window afterwards. Priming is most often wet on wet with the oil. Read the instructions on the packaging though. Wait until the paint has dried, but make sure you don't get parched yourself. Cut the nozzle of the sealant gun at 45 degrees and apply the putty like this. Remove any excess putty using the putty knife like this. Smooth out the putty using a moist fingertip and clean up the surrounding area. Make sure to fill in any small cracks in the wood. Use the blue masking tape. It is designed for outdoor use. Place it approximately one millimeter from the putty edge. If you follow the instructions carefully, you will avoid getting any paint on the glass. Apply plenty of paint, but be careful that it doesn't drip onto the window pane. It is a good idea to use a wide filling knife for the window surround. Finish painting the window and let it dry according to the instructions on the packaging. Once the paint has dried, apply a final coat. Don't leave the masking tape on, remove it immediately after you have finished painting. Remember to replace any rusty metal details and you will have a window which will look attractive for many years to come.